Hello everyone, and uh, nope, not Halo, uh, which of course I have along with Grid, Crisis, yeah, and uh, other, you know, GX10 games because I'm on Windows Vista, so stop trashing it. It's very cool, okay? So, Blender, obviously. Uh, first, I want you to notice something. Uh, render, yep, fast render times because I now have a Call to Quad Q6600. Okay, enough with the chatter. Just uh, delete the cube. No, X, erase. 7 on the numpad to go to top view. Space, add mesh, and monkey. Okay, we're gonna use Suzanne for the scan thing. Okay, so um, out of edit mode if you are not already out. Tab. Uh, go to F9. Okay, editing. Set smooth and subsurf. Now you either press Control one, two, three, or four. Just add modifier. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with three. Okay. Nah, two. Okay. Apply. And if you want to look at your mesh, go ahead. Yep, yeah, lots of dots called vertices. But uh, never mind. Okay, so once you're uh, comfortable with you know where you set your uh, preview camera, just press Control, Alt, and Zero on the numpad to set your actual render camera where you were looking at. Okay, so if you want to render like this, uh, close obviously. You can um, you can now go to top view again. Seven. Zoom out a bit. Press space, add mesh, plane. Now, we're gonna use this plane. Actually, there's gonna be two planes. There is, yeah. Okay, just, uh, you know, modify it a bit, like this, scale it like this. Actually, just scale it a bit down on the Y axis. Now, add a new modifier, um, mirror, okay? and make it mirror the whole mesh which is basically just a plane now on the Y axis and not the X okay because look if you want to experiment if you move it you have oh you have both X and Y and we don't want four of them we want only two okay and now it's only the Y axis okay so um Top view orthographic if you aren't already you know when you're in orthographic you notice all these little lines on the grid tend to merge somewhere in a you know, distant point in perspective of course in orthographic if you press five on the numpad they all seem to be parallel okay which is basically correct in mathematics geometry but not very good when you're you no know, looking for something uh, else. So just use orthographic for now. Move your plane G, Y, to have a little, you know, um, you know, space in here. Yeah, like this. And uh, that's your plane. Okay, out of ortho. Apply if you're comfortable with the settings. And move your plane up. G, Z and move okay so uh, actually I'm gonna show you a trick later so let's just leave it between the camera and the monkey uh, like this you know just disable the shadows for um, the, the lamps or lamp you probably just have this one over here so just disable ray shadows you know, from materials like this um, go into top view again center add lamp s uh, sun okay like this you notice there's a just move it up a bit there's something that looks like a sun you know and with a line over it so uh, if you allow me to go into shade mode and rotate yep it's a sun it's an you know, autographic let's call it a source light which casts orthographic shadows and all of that. So it's basically just a sun, okay? 
So uh, for this one you have to enable ray shadow and give it a nice color. Say uh, most scanners are red so I'm gonna go with blue. Yeah, makes perfect sense. What? Okay, so that's pretty much it for now. Now let's add material for the plane. Let's scale it up a bit. Like it's just just be on the safe side. Okay, add new material. Our shadows must be on. Actually, for the monkey, you have to add new material and make sure shadow is activated over here. It has to receive the shadow, otherwise the trick won't work. Okay, for the plane, we'll just go with only cast. That way it won't be rendered like this. You see, it's annoying. You've got the plane in the camera spot, okay? So only cast. That means it will only cast shadows, but will not be visible in the render. Okay, so render. And look at this. Do you see it? Yep. That that my friends is the laser line okay so um, not much of a trick you know you can just modify the plane you can also uh, make it sweep not the floor hell usually scan lines are supposed to be you know, thinner there you go yeah there you go you know you can dimmer the lights if you want Add a black background like this. Yeah, recording. Okay. Uh, dim the lights, of course, or add uh, you no know, colored lights. It's up to you, mostly. But no, it's up to me now. And green? No, red, 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 red and green. Was it red, red, green, or red, green, red? If you know that line, please no, just mail me. Oh, okay. So let's change this to green so we have all the colors okay blue green and red okay render oops like this no activate uh, over sampling uh, much cooler huh come on looks like an Indian monkey um, and now let's make the plane move a bit hang on I gotta resize Okay, so back to orthographic. Z to enable wireframe. Uh, G, Y to move it on top of the monkey head, if you know what I mean. Click, and now press I. Loc. Okay, that will keyframe. Yeah, the location of the plane in this frame. Okay, so make sure you're, you're at 1. Otherwise, just no, undo. Control Z. Okay, so let's add a few frames like, well, now I can afford 60 frames per second. Ha! In your face. Don't feel like I've won anything. Um, we can add, let's say, two second animation. So that makes 60 times 2. Gee, that's very hard. Yeah, 120. Damn! I'm good at math, yeah. Okay, so at this frame, no, just back to view, G, Y, and move it to the chin, like this, okay? Again, press I, loc, and press Alt A. Most of you understand Alt 8, but that is not the case. A as in Apricot, the new game from Blender, okay? So just uh, Alt A. And you notice the plane is moving. Yay. So you know you can um, always add glow by you no know, sequence. Let's limit the frames here. 20, you know, you know, this is mostly up to you again. Yada yada, yada yada. Don't look at me, you know how to do it. I've already explained it in eight tutorials, I think. Okay, so that is your line. You may want to um make it stronger so increase the energy up to three there you go there you go see now dimmer the lights a bit yeah a bit more let's say 0 0.150 no yeah oh and 0 0.1142 I don't know 
just random numbers. Okay, so you have your scan line now. My secret is revealed. And give me credits, okay? Nah, I don't mean credit. Credits, as in, come on, cash. Nah, just kidding. A bit of credit and uh, we're all done, okay? So that's about it. Uh, core 2, quad, everybody. Guitar, um, Audacity, oh, this cool thing. Uh, the Vi logo and uh, F2 to stop. <laughs> I said 2-2. Okay, bye.